Thanks for coming back to the channel. What I have for you is a very special exercise is to do isometric circles on different planes, which is the X, Y and Z. In the previous video, I showed you how to do an isometric circle on this plane here. And now you can learn to do it on this one and that one. But I've also discussed a method that you can use easily with your 60 degree triangle to be able to get your points easier. I'm going to do it for, for all these three, right? So step number one, please make sure you know your diameter of your circles that you're going to do. And then you draw yourself squares based on the diameter. In this case, it's 60 millimeters of diameter. That's why the square is 60 by 60. So uh, that's the second step. Draw up your isometric circle square. In this case, I've drawn up three on three planes. So combine the furthest two corners, which is the acute angle. Here you can see I've done it for all three. And then the next thing that you need to do is to draw from the obtuse angle upwards with your 60 degree triangle. The same on this side. And here's another one at 60 degrees. I'm just going to put down 60. And this is where your horizontal ruler will be with your 60 and 60. These two points is where you will have your circles, your smaller arcs. And these two points is where you will have your larger arcs. You can go and copy them for all these as well. But let's finish this. You'll put your compass on the first point there. Go out to the side with tangents, click and draw. Not click and draw, just move your compass to get that arc. Just put your steel point of your compass there, move out to the side, tangent that point, and then draw. Use this point there, the obtuse angle. Move out to the one arc where it is stopped. Draw until the other arc. Do the same on the other side. And that's your first isometric circle. In this situation, we're still going to do the same thing. That's the obtuse angle I'm going to draw up to that point through this center line. And I'm going to do the same here. Here's my obtuse angle. Go at 60 as well. And let's dimension them as 60. Remember, you'll be using the 60 degree triangle. This illustration is just for lecturing purposes so that you can see where your 60s are applied. So you have point one, two, three, and four. You'd be doing the very same thing. Put your compass on this point. Move it out to the side until it tangents, then draw. Do the same on the other side. Compass on this point, move out to the side, we tangents, draw. Put your compass on the obtuse angle. Move your compass out until it touches your first arc and draw until the second arc. Do the same on the other side. And there you have two isometric circles based on the 60 degree method. Let's look at this one here. Put your 60 degree triangle on there and then draw a line in this direction at 60 degrees. This line will be at 60 degrees. Do the same at this angle here. So you've got two lines at 60 degrees. And right, you've got four points again. Put your compass on this. Put the, there's four points again. 
put the compass on this point, move out to the side. Make sure it tangents and then start to draw. Put the compass on the next point. Go out to the side until it tangents and draw. Put your compass on the obtuse angle. Move it to the first arc, draw and connect it to the second. Do the same on the other side. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to this channel.